gas. Gas is the term used to quantify the computational effort needed to execute various actions on the Ethereum network. Every transaction on the Ethereum network requires computational resources to process, thus a fee is necessary. The fee is referred to as gas and it is a required payment for a transaction to be successfully processed on Ethereum. Gas fees are paid in Ethereum's native currency Ether. Gas prices are denoted in GUE, which itself is a denomination of ETH. Each GUE equals this much in Ether. But instead of saying that your gas cost was 0,000000001 Ether, you can say your gas cost was 1 GUE. The total fee of a transaction will be calculated as follows. We will take the gas used times the base fee plus the priority fee, where the base fee is established by the protocol and the priority fee is set by the user as a gratuity to the validator. The gas limit sent with the transaction is calculated beforehand to make sure that it is enough to complete the whole transaction. Let's take a look at the previous example when we created our smart contract. At the time of sending the transaction we don't know the final cost but at least we can work out the maximum transaction fee and then we'll get a refund from the gas that was not used. The reason why the priority fee exists, the so-called TIP, is to prioritize transactions. Transactions get executed one by one and it's up to nodes or validators to pick them up. A validator is more likely to process your transaction first before others because of the higher TIP. This is because it incentivizes the validator for processing your transaction. And also, if we really want a transaction to be processed quickly, we can add a higher TIP. On Ethereum, the base fee is always changing. You can go to etherscan.io forward slash gas tracker to check it out. Currently, this is the base fee for an average transaction, plus a priority of two. The reason why it's a good idea to always check this page before sending a big transaction is because from time to time, the GUE value for the base fee might be very low and it's all dependent on how busy the Ethereum network is. So sometimes when you see a big gas price, then just wait a bit. Maybe it comes down later during the day. At the end of the entire section, I will leave some resources for you to read up more on gas. But for now, just understand that gas works like gas to a car. A car needs gas to make its destination, and the same with a transaction. Take a look at this transaction. An external account, let's say our account, we want to call some action on a smart contract. We construct a message, we give it some gas fee, the transaction fee, and send it to the Ethereum network. The EVM processes this request running the opcodes and this all consumes gas. Once it's complete, the transaction is done and the remaining gas, the unused gas, is refunded back to the user's account. And that's a complete transaction. So what will happen if we do exactly the same but we don't send enough gas for the EVM to do its process? Well, the EVM will still run and process and process until it runs out of gas. At that point, the transaction will not be valid and the user who made the request will lose his or her transaction fee because the EVM already did the actual work, it just couldn't finish. So it is important for us to always send enough gas with the transactions. Now luckily for most of what we are going to do, wallets and like you have seen Remix does these calculations for us. We just need to know that this process exists and why it exists so that we are happy to pay the gas because we know nodes will do the work.